Hey, Steve here. Welcome to Career Watch, where we bring you the very latest career trends and statistics. Today, I have for you four things to consider before going to law school. Let's get started. The first thing to consider is the top 20% of lawyers make most of the money. This first chart I'm showing you is the average lawyer pay over time. Notice that in 1997, the average lawyer was making about 72,000, and then by 2017, the average lawyer was making 141,000. But this is the average, and it doesn't tell us the whole story. The next chart I'm gonna show you is the distribution of pay. This chart is showing the distribution of lawyer pay among different percentiles. So the gray line would be the median. It would be the three, if there's 600,000 lawyers in America, it would be the 300,000th lawyer. That person is making 120,000 per year. But what's interesting is, this is showing you 10% of lawyers make less than $60,000. 25% of lawyers make less than $80,000. And not only that, their wages are kind of stagnant. They haven't been rising over time. Whereas you look at the yellow line, the 75th percentile, that number is growing. Those lawyers are making more and more money. Whereas the lawyers below the 50th percentile, their wages are kind of stagnant and have been for a, couple, a number of years. So the first thing to consider before going to law school is the distribution of pay. And know that the top 20% of lawyers are making, are not only making more money now, they're projected to make more and more as time goes on. The second thing to consider is the fact that more students graduate from law school every year than there are jobs available for them. The next chart I'm showing you is comparing law school graduates with the number of jobs created per year. As you can see, the blue line is the number of law school graduates for that year, and the orange line is the number of lawyer jobs actually added to the economy nationally. And it's a huge discrepancy. No other occupation is like this, not to this extent. But there is a silver lining. Over the last four years, less and less people are going to law school and graduating. It peaked in 2013. There was 46,000 law school graduates and about 10,000 jobs. 2017, it's still terrible. 34,000 law school graduates and about 9,000 jobs. The worst part is this. The government predicts an addition of 6,500 jobs per year to 2026. So the number of lawyer jobs added over the next couple years is expected to decline. So if you're going to a, a really good law school, you don't have to worry about this, you're fine. But if you're going to a lower tier law school and you're not graduating at the top of your class, there is room to be concerned. So this is just gonna create an extremely competitive environment for lawyers graduating from law school. It's gonna give their employers more leverage. So the second thing to consider before going to law school is the fact that more students graduate from law school every year than there are jobs available. So number three is kind of counterintuitive. The unemployment rate for lawyers has actually been dropping for the past couple of years. This is counterintuitive because I just showed you a chart showing that there aren't enough jobs for law school graduates. There's not nearly enough jobs for law school graduates. So this is kind of counterintuitive. So this is essentially looking at if someone graduates law school, they pass the bar, then they get that first job as a lawyer. That person's chance of being unemployed. So this chart is showing the unemployment rate of lawyers from the year 2000 to the year 2018. As you can see, the, the unemployment rate spiked in 2009. This is right after the recession, so firms were laying off lawyers left and right. And then ever since then, it's been dropping. In 2018, the unemployment rate is around 0.9%, which is extremely good. To put that into perspective, software engineers have an unemployment rate around 1.6, 1.7%. And a lot of other hot careers right now have a far higher unemployment rate than that. So once you become a lawyer, once you get a couple years of experience and find your niche, your chances of being unemployed for a long period of time are fairly low. So number four is law school debt is challenging, but it isn't insurmountable. The average lawyer on graduation will owe about $110,000. And this chart shows law school debt over time. Notice it rose up until 2016 and then it dropped in 2017. This is another little silver lining. Law school debt actually dropped last year from $115,000 to $111,000. Also, law school debt is considerably lower than pharmacists, dentists, and doctors. Pharmacists will owe about $167,000 on graduation. Doctors will owe around $200,000. And then dentists will owe a staggering $287,000 on graduation. So everything's relative. Again, going back to the distribution of pay, on graduation, lawyer, a lawyer, a public defender might be making 50K, whereas someone working in big law might be making 160, 170. So it's a lot easier to pay off that debt when you're making that much money. The other thing to consider is loan forgiveness programs. For example, the University of Virginia will pay 100% of your debt if you're making less than $55,000. 
So there's all kinds of programs to help out struggling lawyers. Those are four things to consider before becoming a lawyer in 2019. Definitely do your own research. Are you interested in becoming a lawyer and what are your thoughts on becoming a lawyer in 2019? Let me know in the comments below. You can support us by subscribing and I will see you guys next week.